guys it's your girl dolly roman and yes i have a haul how could i go through the month of january without doing some type of haul like come on like that's just wouldn't be me so um i just want to tell you guys um happy 2015 i only made one video so far this year the reason is why because i've been taking i've been basically trying to relax over my winter break um because school is very tiring if you guys don't know i'm a fashion design major and i really do a lot of stuff and on top of being a fashion design major i'm in the honor society i'm the fashion club president um I just got accepted to some type of program called American Honors. So this semester might be a little crazy for me, but I just want to tell you guys, I start school on Tuesday. So there will be a lack of videos, but the way for me to make up for those videos, you guys, I will be filming community college vlogs. Um, I'll talk about it more when I start. I just want you guys to uh, misconception you guys have had about community college is not true it is not the 13th grade it's just as a uh, college as a university so um i'll talk more about that but anyway like i said this is a haul um i have stuff from the thrift store i have some makeup things i picked up um go jane my mom just came from vacation so she got me a couple things so i'm just gonna show you what i got i'm gonna start off with the beauty first and just let that be that so um actually i had uh we had inventory at my job uh last week and as i was um cleaning in the front of the register we have like makeup and like phone chargers and stuff right there so i was looking and i had seen these little city color eyeshadows so you know i got on my phone and i did my little research and come to find out you know if you guys don't know anything about city colors city colors is a very good makeup brand they even sell it at imax they sell it at five below and they sell it at my job which is rainbow um i'm very funny about what i put on my face because as you guys can see i break out very easily like today i only have on bb cream and concealer and just like light makeup because this is like my everyday makeup and um you can see even though like because bb cream is a lighter coverage you can see like my breakouts and stuff so i do break out from anything like even if this hair touches my face my face like will break out anything breaks me out it's so weird so um i did my research i found out about these little city color eyeshadows and i heard that they were super good so i was like you know what i'm going to try them so actually the good thing about it on the website they sell for 199 and my job they were selling for 99 cent and they were 50 50 percent off so i got them for 49 percent Plus, when we um, have sell items that we want to buy, that's on sales extra 10% off. So I got five eyeshadows for 44 cents a piece, guys. Like, what? That's the best deal ever. So I only paid two dollars and 35 cents for these five eyeshadows all together. So I'm just gonna show you which ones I got. So I got this one, and it's called Royal Purple. And um, I'm gonna try it. My best. It's so hard to open these. I'm gonna try my best to do like little swatches of them for you so this is royal purple I got another one and it's called pretty and pink and this is more like a mauve type of color it's not really like a pink pink so I got that and that's just what that looks like the next one I got is gunmetal gray and this is like a silvery uh, type of color silvery gray type of color oh, these things I don't know why they're so hard to open so that's just what that looks like if you guys can see that um I got a true black which is a matte black if you guys don't have a matte black in your collection it is very necessary that you have one I have plenty of them in like different palettes but it's always good to have a a matte black off by itself because it's always good just to have one because you never know can create endless looks with a matte black uh, eyeshadow and that's what that one looks like it look a little brown on camera if you guys can see and then the last one I got is called mr. brown it's so funny because I think about the Tyler Perry show 
need the browns but um it's this and it's like a true matte brown which is another staple you should have in your collection and that's what that looks like so these are the five colors mr brown pretty in pink royal purple gunmetal gray and true black and like i said i got those for 44 cents each so um the next things i got um if you guys have seen it's my ray rays a video on the amazing matte lipsticks that she got for $2.99. Yes, they are real because I got some too. Um, I was so curious to find where I could get them from uh, when I seen that video. I did find a website um, called Sam's Beauty. Um, if you guys want to check them out, um, I'll put the exact link to the lipsticks right here. Um, Sam's Beauty, they sell them and they're $2.99 on the website. Um, so, they come in a variety of colors. Um, what these lipsticks remind me of are the Macaroon Lippies from NYX that you guys already know I have. Um, there are 24 of these lipsticks, but I only picked up a couple. The only reason why I didn't get all of them is because there were some colors that were very similar to the NYX uh, Macaroon ones. And I have most of those and I just wanted to, I want to get the rest of that collection kinda. So I didn't want to get all of them. Uh, all these Ruby Kisses ones. They are about it. Like I said, they are about the brand Ruby Kisses. I meant to say that. Um, and they are really matte. I actually have one on now. This one is called New Rose, and then I have it topped with this Nana Coco um lip gloss called Baby Peach. But I'll show you guys that. So I just picked up a number of. I'm not even sure because I was just so happy to get them. I have ten. I can't count. So, <laughs> I'm not going to swatch these because not all of them have been open and I don't feel like taking the plastic and all that off for this video. So, this one is lilac and it's really like just this kind of, it's like a pinky, purple, lavender type of color. Um, I haven't worn this yet, but I'm pretty excited because I love lavender lipsticks. Oh my God, they make me crazy. This one is Fuchsia Fierce. And that's just what that looks like this one is blue lagoon and if you guys don't know like I love blue lip lipstick I only wore I have the macaroon lippy and I wore that in my fashion show and oh my god ever since then like I'm a sucker for blue matte blue lipsticks like I'm scared to wear them in public but <laughs> I don't care this one is baby pink I tried this one yesterday it's really cute but I think I like the first one I got the um the pink about it that's like a really Barbie baby pink to me um this one is called hot pink gossip the next one I got is red mangrove and this is like the perfect perfect red not like that deep red it's like a mix between it's not even an orangey red it's just i don't know how to describe it. it's like that perfect red color for anybody anybody can pull this off i believe the next one i got is brown sugar i also got lavenderism and as you guys know like i said i love lavender lipsticks this one is extreme coral and I wanted this because I've been looking for a coral lipstick forever. And then I found out that MAC has one out now. So I'm going to pick that one up too, of course. And this one is my favorite. I've been wearing this thing like every day. Like this is the perfect lipstick to go with a neutral eye look. Like I just love it. And this is Nude Rose. And this is what I have on now. And this is the lip gloss I have over it, which is Nana Coco. And I tell you guys about these lip glosses all the time. I swear by them. I don't even wear lip gloss. I will wear lipstick and bliss sticks. I swear to God, like I don't care. But these lip gloss and the LA Girl lip Glaze lip paints are the best things that were ever invented. So yeah, this is in Baby Peach. And it's just like this peachy nude kind of color with some shimmer in there. It's really cute. And then the last two beauty things I picked up, I was running out of my concealer. And then yesterday I had went um, to where I used to live. So I just stopped in a beauty supply store. And oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to jump back but those I got from a little the Ruby Kiss matte lipsticks I got from a local beauty supply store from where I live so yeah um yeah so like I said I had to pick up a concealer and I actually picked up the wrong color guys so in the LA um girl 
Pro Conceal is what I use. I swear by this stuff, it's the best stuff. This is like my third or fourth container of this stuff. I just love it. But I, uh, the one I had is pure beige. I picked up medium beige. I use it today, but I can't really tell a difference between this one and the other one. I mean, the other one is a little lighter, and they always say go lighter with your concealer. But, like, I can't even tell, to be honest, you guys. Maybe I have to try it with the foundation and see. I don't know. Then... Um, because I wanted to get my eyelashes done for school. Um, I just picked up a pair of Cherry Blossom Wispy Lashes. These are probably... I never tried the Wispies. But I did, when we had our fashion show in May, I picked up a whole bunch. I don't know if I picked up the Wispies, though. But the Wispies, I hope they're, like, close to the Ardell Demi Wispies because I love those things. So, um... The next thing I got is some things I ordered from Gojane, and I'm just gonna start with this beautiful hat. Um, this is a wool floppy hat. It has a little bow right here. Um, I think I paid about, and I left the paper over there, so now I can't even tell you guys how much I paid for anything, um, cause I don't feel like getting up, but. Um, I believe this hat was like $19 and it was kind of on sale. Um, don't quote me, but if I see the, if I find the hat, I will leave the link below. So yeah, I just got this. I was skeptical about trying these hats. Um, my job had got these hats actually last fall. I was like, I'm not getting that hat. I'm gonna look so stupid. But oh my God, I wore it today. And of course my grandma had something to say. She always has something to say about what I wear. Anywho, but my friend was like, oh my god, you look so cute. And I put a picture up on Instagram and everybody was liking it. So, can't look that bad. But I'm still getting used to it. Um, I plan to wear it to school next week. I had this whole outfit picked out. You guys will see in the community college vault. So, yeah. I really like this hat. I think it's cute. And it's perfect for winter if you don't wear... I mean, I get sick of wearing beanies and my bowler hat, even though those are my favorite. But I get tired of them. So, the next thing I picked up, as you guys know, like... I'm obsessed with tutus. So, as I ordered the black one on Black Friday, I was like, yo, like, I have to have something for my birthday. And I thought this one, because I don't know exactly what I'm going to wear on my birthday yet. But I'm thinking about doing a photo shoot for my 21st birthday. So, I want to do something different. I don't want to do the typical thing 21-year-olds do to bring in their birthday. So, I was thinking this would be a cute idea for my photo shoot. I kind of got inspired by Glamaholic 54, I can't lie. Um, yeah, so I was like, oh my God, let me try a tutu. So, this is the tutu I got. It's the same one I got in black, but it's just mint green. And oh my God, I just love this thing. Like, So then, <laughs> the funny thing about it is, yesterday, Gojane had put a picture on. And they were saying, should we get rid of this tutu or we should should we restock it in more colors? And I was like, yes, more and more colors. Like, I swear to God, if I could wear a tutu every day, I would. But yeah, I forgot. I think this was about 30 and then I got it on sale too. So yeah, that's what that is. The next thing I got, which I'm so excited for, um, my grandma and my mom were picking on me. Yes, they were. They were talking about how big my butt is <laughs> and my little short skater skirts. So that made me go out and buy all midi skirts. So I mean, I'll still uh, wear a skater skirt here and there, but like, I feel like a midi skirt too, now that I'm turning 21, is like a little more mature. So I picked up this one. Oh, I'm sitting so close to the camera, you guys can't even see. I picked up this one in plaid. And the reason why I got this is because I knew on my first day of class, I wanted to go for this whole little rocker, chic look, and I had to have this. And I think like plaid mini skirts are just so cute for fall. And my friend also on her birthday, she had wore like a striped shirt and a plaid like skater skirt and I thought it was so cute. So I want to kind of try that outfit combination too. And then, oh my God. I got so much to say about the skirt. I have seen a picture on Instagram with a girl kind of wearing a skirt similar to this with a plaid shirt and like a statement necklace. So I definitely want to try that. So I got so many looks I want to do with this before winter is completely over. So I'm so excited about that. And I think I paid 
maybe like in the same price range about the tutu maybe like I want to say between $25 and $30 for that skirt because altogether my whole order had came up to about $62 so that's how I remember um <coughs> So on to the two things my mom had picked me up when she went on vacation. My mom went to South Carolina for Christmas. Um, I did not go. I can't get off of work like that. Um, anybody in retail knows that. Like you have to schedule to get off of work like way, way ahead of time. And she just did it spontaneously and I just couldn't get off. So what she got me, um, she actually got these two things from Ross. I'm really iffy about Ross and TJ Maxx. I love Marshalls, but them two stores, I can't go in there and make me claustrophobic and this stuff is always picked over and uh, I don't I don't like Ross or TJ Maxx. I know that's weird, but it's the truth. So I just picked, my mom just got these joggers for me and they're quilted. And they had this black and white flower print all over them. And they were $12.99. And I just love joggers because I really learned to appreciate joggers and sweatpants in college because this past semester, I never felt like getting dressed. So now I understand why people wear sweatpants and stuff every day. But I, it won't be an everyday thing. Like, it might be a Monday thing. That's what it might be. Because Mondays are the worst day of the week. So, <laughs> the next thing she got me, I thought this was so cute. And I thought it was perfect for Valentine's Day. No, I don't have a boyfriend. And no, I don't know what I'm going to be doing for Valentine's Day. I might be sitting on my couch eating snacks and watching movies. But I might have to work. So, I thought this would be cute maybe for work. And this skirt was $9.99. And it's just this red, um midi kind of skater skirt with this it's got a nude um slip underneath <coughs> oh my god excuse me with this red lace on top and i thought that was so cute i'm not too sure i seen like a sweater that i might want to pair with it i'm not too sure yet so that's that um the next thing i got like I said, I wanted to go for a rocker chic type of look for the first day back. So I ordered my infamous band tee. So I just picked up this Metallica tee from Hot Topic. This was on sale, I believe, for like $16. Um, my mom was like, why would you get a shirt with skulls on there? I actually wasn't thinking about that. I just wanted a band tee. Um, and I couldn't find anyone. I really, really wanted this shirt from Urban Outfitters and I was so mad because the Notorious Kid got it and it was like a Slayer sweatshirt. I did not know Slayer was a band and I feel so stupid because I should have known that. But now I came across a Slayer shirt that I eventually may order, so. That would have been cute though with that plaid skirt. I'm so mad. But yeah, that's just what it looks like. Okay. I got stuff from the thrift store today that I totally almost forgot about. Um, I did. I know this video is going to be kind of long, but you know, I'd rather just get it all out of the way. So the last couple things I got before I jump into the stuff from the thrift store is stuff from my job. I don't know if I was telling you guys, but we were getting gift certificates over the holiday for making our sales or whatever the case may be. And I got, first I got a $10 gift certificate I think it was 15 then I had two $25 gift certificates and I just basically spent it on this stuff some of the stuff I showed you guys already but um this shirt was actually five dollars and um I got this shirt it's just a plain black simple chiffon shirt with some like lace crochet kind of detailing but the reason why I got this is because I had a black chiffon shirt and it got too tight and I just needed another one. So I really didn't care how it looked. I don't even know if this fit. It's a size large, but rainbow clothes run small. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to y'all. But so yeah, that's what I got. Um, oh no, I got one other thing from, that's not for my job. I'm in love with elephants. I can't even emphasize on the point of how much I love elephants. So when we got this shirt, I kind of screamed and everybody looked at me like I was crazy, but it's okay. It was only $10.99. It's just this brown shirt 
that has these elephants all over it a little tribal print and you guys will see this in um the community college ball uh next week it has that burnout type of you know cotton thing and i just got this because i just like comfy shirts and um i'm very restricted on things that i can wear to work like i can't wear jeans i can only wear colored jeans um i can wear skirts i can wear leggings which i think is totally appropriate and i always say that um yeah so like i just need cute little shirts i can wear i don't be in the mood to get dressed for work because it's not a lot of things that i can wear for work i mean there's a lot of things that i can in my closet because i have a lot of clothes but you know if you guys like work at a place like that it gets you get tired because you start feeling like you're repeating clothes so yeah i just got that um i picked up these three things from my job too um i'm just gonna show you guys these real quick because i didn't even want to show it in the haul also i'm missing a little three dollar tank top shirt that i bought for the summertime but whatever so i actually bought these jeans as soon as they came in the store i bought them these are um $29.99 and I've been wanting some white boyfriend jeans forever so I just picked up these white boyfriend jeans for my job they're about to bring almost all uh almost famous there's a size 13 I'm just gonna fold them in half because they got the same thing on the side and they just had this little distressing um they actually being that my butt is so big um they fit tight they don't fit like boyfriend jeans but I'd rather have white jeans for the spring that could go with more stuff because you get tired of wearing jeans, like regular jeans when the spring come. Um, the last two things I got, I actually wore this today with this outfit. I got this little cute um circle purse. It has a little tassel for the zipper here. And it has hearts and studs and it's just got this and it looks so cute and little bags like this just remind me of Chanel bags and they make me happy don't judge me I forgot how much that purse was I think no was it it was either $9.99 or $12.99 so the last thing I got from my job um were these booties and they look like this they just have a buckle and then they have like this faux zipper right here but they really zip up on this side um i believe that raven elise has something like this um she took some pictures with this on instagram and i got these booties because you know sometimes i really just be want to be a um six inch girl like at school and that don't work because mm -mm. i've been kicked them shoes off during my first class so i just got these they're by the brand Zoe. And the style is Kala. They're in the color cognac. It's a size eight and a half. And these shoes are actually gonna sell for $10. So that was that. The last thing I got before I really get into the thrift store stuff. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I've been wanting the um the Jeremy Scott Machino shirt that's I forget exactly what to say but one of the t-shirts that came out with like the Barbie line I've been raving over them t-shirts I want one so bad but they cost like $200 I don't have $200 to spend on a t-shirt so when I seen these shirts at Forever 21 I was like oh my god like this is the closest that I'm gonna get that's in my budget I'm so excited I can't wait to order it so the the one that I really want has said I don't care what you say I'm wearing this anyway the reason why I was getting that is because like I said my grandma always has something to say every day about the stuff I wear like sometimes I get compliments sometimes like today when I wore this hat she was like what the hell are you doing wearing a hat like it's always something so I got this shirt kind of inspired by her but it says this is what I'm wearing today and it's just like this white t-shirt is oversized and I feel like this is perfect like for like a Monday outfit like I feel like this I got some black velvet leggings um docks a little leather jacket then my little camel coat or my black wool coat and a beanie and maybe this lipstick I'm on the money I just made a whole outfit for the first Monday of school what 
Oh, yeah. And this shirt was only $15.90. And it should still be up there. Um, I hope it's not sold out yet. But um, I'll put the link in the box below so you guys can see. So, the next things I got is from the thrift store. And, um... I actually just came back from thrifting today. I went there because my friend, she got a brown suede French jacket and I've been looking for one and I still haven't found one. And the funny thing about it is like, after I buy stuff online, I always find it in a thrift store. Like today, I found a camo jacket when I spent like $60 on a camo jacket from Urban Outfitters. So you know how mad that makes me? Like, I can't. Like, I need people to be on time with my things that I need so hopefully I eventually come across it because if not I'm just going to order one from Etsy I'm going to completely give up and that's going to be that so I just got a couple things um I really went in there for that in jeans I didn't find any jeans that I like that already look like jeans that I had so um the first thing I got is this like it's kind of like a crop top um I just like this floral kind of crop top sweatshirt and I just thought it was cute for spring like beginning of spring and this was $1.99 and the reason why I went today is because I never knew until I went on a Wednesday one day that Wednesdays are the best day to go to the thrift store because everything is half off except for like it might be all four color tag and then except for one color tag and like today it was pink white green yellow and blues were on sale last time I think it was blue pink yellow green and then white wasn't on sale so it's like good to catch that because like you save so much more money so yeah this was $1.99 and being that it was green tag so maybe it was like one dollar I'm not sure but yeah I just got that I finally got a gray sweater. I've been looking for a gray sweater all winter. And this is actually a men's sweater, which is the crazy thing about it. So this one I did pay full price for. It's a large and that one's that that sweatshirt was a small and I'm shocked I fit it. Um but yeah, this is a men's large and it's $3.99. It's just this gray turtleneck. Nothing too fancy. Um this is from L.L. Bean. Um, yeah. So I'm pretty excited to wear this. I'm not too sure with what. And oh, I just thought this was so cutesy. So when I seen it, I had to get it. So this was also a large. And this was a blue tag. So it was full price. It was $3.99. And this says it's made from Angora rabbit hair and lamb's wool. Oh my god. So it's just this cutesy little fuzzy white um crop sweater and i just thought this would look so cute with a skater skirt i don't really like this whole bow thing so i think i might cut that off i'm not sure yet but yeah that was so cute that's why i got it um the next thing i got was um i seen a picture on instagram of this blogger i'll put the picture in the video um <laughs> had on a pink coat and a pink sweater so you guys know ever since I got the pink furry coat I just feel invincible like I can do everything with it so I just had to try I'm going to try this hopefully this sweater fits under there so this sweater is actually a size medium it was $4.99 but it was half off I'm not good with math off the top of my head guys so you guys have to figure that out but I got this little pink um sweater and it's knitted and it's warm and then it has this little swirly design down the middle and I just love this because pink is my favorite color so the last thing I got like I said I had went there for jeans but I didn't see any jeans that I like and this is this part of the haul is gonna make me really mad because um for Thanksgiving even though I didn't go nowhere, I just ended up going to work. I wanted to wear corduroy pants and I wanted a specific color and I could not find them. Then I go there today and this is like close to the color that I actually wanted, even though it's not it exactly. But I got these corduroy pants for, they were $4.99 originally, but they, like I said, they were half off. And that's just what they look like. And they're high waisted and they fit a little better than the ones I showed you guys before. Um, I can roll them up 
and they'll probably look a little better. But these are in a size 14 and these are by Talbert. So I haven't even worn all those corduroys I brought that I showed you guys a long time ago. So you have to excuse me. So I'm sorry this video is like 30 minutes long. I'm sorry, but I just had to show you guys everything I got. Um, tomorrow I will be recording my two week review on this hair. Um, I know you guys are really anxious. People keep writing me on Instagram. Um, also, disclaimer, I do not work for this hair company. Um, the lady who owns this hair company has been backed up in her orders because she had to fire her assistant. Please give her time. That's all I'm going to say. Please don't complain to me because I do not work for her. She's not giving me a paycheck. I'm reviewing this hair for free. I bought this hair with my own money. That's all I can say. I'm not trying to be smart or anything. I don't have all the answers for you guys. Just be patient because that's hard for somebody to be working alone by themselves. Like on a hair business that's a, that's very hard so please just give her time and yeah so um as always comment rate and subscribe thank you guys for watching um stay tuned for the community college vlog and i will be doing videos if i can once a week on fridays and they'll probably go up like friday night or saturdays so stay tuned for that and bye.